At the end of the shooting session, every time I get done shooting, I like to wax the string. You're supposed to wax the string, usually after the end of every shooting session. How to know if you need to wax your string? If you touch the string and it's not tacky, it's going to feel kind of tacky and sticky on the string. Remember again, like the crossbow, you don't want to wax the serving, the black part on the string. You don't want to wax that. The chemicals in that wax will take the serving off your bow. So you just only wax the string. So as you can tell, some of it's tacky, but I always wax a little bit. Just take the roll of wax, put it on the string, rub it in with your finger. It heats it up and melts it in. Put wax. Some more wax. Usually do it around your peep sight too. This is your peep sight. Do it around your peep sight. Don't get the threads around the string where they tie in the peep sight because it can cause it to come apart too. Try to skip that. Try to wax it as best as possible. You know? Just wax even the, um, the cables here. You want to wax the string there also. It's very important. And I do this after every time I shoot. I, I don't I don't skip a time. I make sure I do it every time I shoot. Wax the string. Try it best you can wax it. The rest of it you can rub it in with your fingers. Put some wax on there. So then I just take and rub it in with my hands all over the string. After I put some on the string. That's how you make your string last a lot longer. They say you're supposed to change your string every three years. As long as you keep waxing that string and you take care of your bow, try to store your bow always in a cool environment, dark environment, not in a lot of sun, a lot of heat, extreme cold. Don't try to store it all the time. I try to keep it in the house as much as possible. If I'm out and about like this in my car, yeah, it's okay for a few hours, but I want to leave it in a few days in the heat of the car in the summertime. Can cause you to crack limbs, warp your bow, anything can happen. So after you rub all that in there, I like to also check is after in my shooting session and beginning your shooting session, you have your little screws for your draw uh, draw length adjustment. Check those. Sometimes they come loose. Sometimes just tap on it, you'll hear it rattle. But a lot of times you want to check and make sure you can visually check these most of the time. And if you start hearing rattling noise when you shoot your bow then more than likely it's these. You may have to get some kind of Loctite and put on them. And I like to inspect my bow quite a bit and always case my bow up when I'm done because case is better than keeping it out in the elements damaging parts. These things are too expensive for you to just not take care of them. 